Hello there. Um, time for the medals for a new technical analysis and forecasting on that. Um, okay, well let's let's see what we got on the charts over here. This is the the daily chart. This is where we were coming from in prior analysis. Um, we don't need that for now, so I'm going to get that off. The thing was, we had a it had a shoulder pattern. We were moving to the downside, and then we started to uh, to test and uh, um, you know move around that trend line. And finally, price uh, broke out of it. And as you can see right now, price is uh, is falling pretty fast. So let let, 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 let us check out what is uh, what is happening over here because it's not something that you know. We didn't, uh, we we couldn't anticipate in a, in a way. So we 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 had a breakout. This was a false breakout that we fell back, and then we had another breakout. This would have been a breakout uh, where we could have say said, well, this is this is valid. We we can uh, we can go with that. But here's the thing: this was resistance again, third time, fourth time, and here it tried to. Well, this is the four-hour chart, so we got ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bars trying to push through that level, but it never happened. So that is, in fact, right now the new uh, and very solid resistance we are uh, we were unable to break. So that was a trend continuation. Uh, that's what we're looking at right now even though we are at these lows again so some consolidation is also uh, possible but let's 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 just uh, put it like this for now so um a thing i want to add to that when you do your own analysis yes trend lines are very useful trend lines can often uh, give a first uh, glimpse of uh, what is uh, likely to happen and this was a very decent setup Ale only the the uh, the retest uh, failed and we fell back into this channel so um, coming back to the to the trend line uh, thing um, I th I personally in my experience is that trend uh, horizontal lines are more um, more more uh, it's, it's harder to break <laughs> so that's 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 a tough one if you're looking to break into a certain level but that's a good one if you're trading with the trend so we got ourselves a resistance over here is second resistance and then a third resistance happened over here price came into that resistance but failed to break so that is that is kind of what happened so at the moment looking at opportunities right now of course we are back at this level over here where we are fighting with uh price what is what is going to happen so we are uh, th this move has already occurred so if you were looking at this and you had this resistance on your chart uh, of course uh, you could have uh, gotten into s to this area i didn't take this trade because this resistance and this retest of this trend line it was all way too too close at each other so i didn't really um, there was too much uh, uh, things that could could slow price down so i, I didn't uh, take this trade but for now the bias remains bearish even though we thought for a second here that we were turning bullish um, of course 100% bearish um, and from here on out I think this the second setup is actually still in play let's see what happens when we touch this uh, this support if we bounce off of it a little bit and then uh, find continuation so for now um, for now I'm not taking any trades because it already happened and we are at support so going short right now or maybe switching off and going long it's not not really the way I uh, I prefer to trade um, if you zoom in maybe you can get some some idea this hap this this drop happened so we yeah this still looks uh, you know a drop some some uh, some some correction a drop and correction is r happening right now at a certain level so no, no no I'm not taking this at the moment so let's see how this evolves next week but this um, this is it for now then silver how is silver doing of course you ex you guessed it it's the same thing even though silver is a little bit different because this 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 is more of a um, this is a stronger breakout um, and the reason why it failed we did actually make a high over here so that's kind of different but this sell-off of course is crazy so we are um, just getting into the trend line uh, any minute um, so yes let me so let me let me let me just take some things off because if we really leave everything on it's gonna be a bit of a messy thing 
So what's the idea for now? I would the first thing I would be looking for is the following. Of course, I want to see how price reacts at this level. I'm expecting a reaction, and then the question be becomes: Will we eventually bounce off this this level again and and drop lower, or you know we don't we don't know exactly what will happen here, um, but that's 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 a possible scenario for sure. Um, and then uh, further downside could be could be on the charts, um, or we break higher again. But for now, again, um, if I would take a trade, which I am not interested in, because for example the indices are running crazy this week, and I'm just getting in, getting out, getting in. It's just buying into the pullbacks, and it's been amazing, an amazing week. So why should I? take on more risk on a lesser trade I am not here to do that so um, if I would trade this or the thing I'm watching for is first to bounce off this level which probably will happen around around any time now and then a pullback and then a continuation or something like that so nothing to me nothing uh, nothing on the charts for for this trade um, again I don't know of course what you are looking for if you think this could be an interesting thing from 1675 back up to 70 let's say 30 if you're in it do your thing I cannot judge that okay this is uh, copper copper is moving pretty pretty you know it's pretty manageable it's it's a good good chart good to read um, same thing applies here we, we, we still have this this trend line in place here so I would be I um, think I when I look at this I think when you zoom in you get some interesting trend line over here so it's on its way back up to that uh, s that level over there um, that's 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 what I yeah, this yeah this is, this is quite interesting so this is a supportive trend line to the upside of course when we go to the daily chart we see that also supportive trend line but then a, more in a resistance way on a bigger time frame so this is where what we are at um, a bounce or, or a, a sell-off from from here and a break of this trend line could could provide an entry as for now we have support over here so you know it's not it's not the ideal setup but it's moving up so maybe if you want to buy into a pullback and then you know no make sure you also get your story on the chart make sure you know where support levels are and resistance and within that area you can take on a trade um, yeah that's my view on copper at the moment then I want to add two more platinum um, platinum is kind of the situation where I what I just pointed out on copper seems to be happening yes we came into this uh, resistance um, in combination with that trend line so this was an interesting cluster uh, rejected so we have this pin bar then we came in again and now we see a strong rejection as well again so and also here this is of course the weekly chart so don't you know this is an interesting trend line so in fact where price is at right now I would not expect a continuation just yet um, but it is interesting what w to see what will happen b in between this trend line over here and this trend line over here. So that's kind of the playing field that I'm looking to take on trades in platinum. But again, I'll do an analysis on, fo on Forex. I'll, I'll look into the indices as well. The metals at the moment to me are not at ideal places to be taking trades. So it's just an update and you know make sure you understand where levels, where price is at. This is, is something that looks a bit more clean. Which could be interesting so this setup is still in place if you ask me um, very strong uh, momentum to the upside of course on the weekly chart don't get me wrong this is the weekly chart so it's pretty 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 interesting price movement and I would I, of course after a leg like this I would not uh, be interested in buying in at the top so the same idea is still in place and this is actually the thing that that still needs to happen so this is the uh, of the five metals I just uh, did an analysis on if we see a break of this level maybe this maybe this uh, can act as support uh, for now in combination with the break of that trend line then we see some further downside because a, a real retest of this uh, previous resistance level never really happened so that is still something it can occur in combination with um, with 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 the test of this uh, supportive trend line. So palladium is the the one I would be watching to take on a short, and the other pairs are all in a stage of the market where things uh, have already happened, uh, or prices at a level where it's kind of kind of you know it's not really an ideal um, environment to be taken on 
uh, certain trade so that's it for now the medals um, make sure you check out my video tomorrow it's always a big big one on forex uh, opportunities i'll just go through all of all the a lot of pairs just just without without prior analysis and just walk you through my thought process to help you uh, understand the way i look at the market the way i hunt for opportunities and of course uh, hunting opportunities means that you will find a direction in the market and you find where where things turn around so you know when to get out of the market and that is all information you need to be managing your risk the second part very important part of trading and an often overlooked uh, part of it uh, by by retail traders okay well that's it for now see you tomorrow uh, good luck in medals and make sure you pick the best trades for your trading bye bye